What's up guys, it's Ocean here, and today I'm here with a seared ahi recipe with a dragon fruit relish and a wasabi aioli. Let's get started. As always, we're basing this recipe off of our Puyina bag. This week's Puyina bag 16.0 featured fresh ahi tuna from Kona Fish, thank you Kaeo, and a variety of other produce. So we're gonna break this video into three parts. First, we're gonna make the wasabi aioli, then we're gonna make the dragon fruit relish, and finally, we're gonna sear our ahi. To start off this wasabi aioli, it's very simple. We're just gonna take all of our ingredients and incorporate them into a mixing bowl. So here's what you'll need. For the wasabi aioli, you will need four tablespoons of best food mayonnaise, one clove of garlic, half a teaspoon of lemon juice, half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, half a teaspoon of wasabi, sea salt to taste, and a teaspoon of olive oil. First, we're going to start off by adding in our mayonnaise. Typically, when making an aioli, you would use egg and oil, but for this, we're going to keep it simple and we're just going to use mayonnaise. So, with all of our recipes, I like to try and keep it simple and with ingredients that anybody can get. So, we're using wasabi from a tube. You can go and get that in almost any grocery store. Now, we're putting in our lemon, garlic. Dijon mustard and finally our salt. Now take your whisk and mix it together. So your aioli should have a green hue because of the wasabi. If you want a little more spicy, you can add more wasabi or you can add a little less if you don't want it as much spice. The aioli looks nicely combined, so we're just going to set it to the side. Next, we're going to start on our dragon fruit relish. I've already pre-cut all my fruits and vegetables, and this is going to be super simple. We're just going to put it all in the mixing bowl and stir it all together. So here's a list of ingredients that you're going to need. For this dragon fruit relish, you'll need half a cup of dragon fruit, small diced, half a cup of papaya, small diced, one tablespoon of green onion, two teaspoons of olive oil, a teaspoon of lemon juice, sea salt to taste, and minced cilantro to taste. As you may have noticed, the two main ingredients in our relish today are the fruits featured in the 16.0 Paina bag. First, we got our dragon fruit from Adaptations and Kona Dragon Fruit Inc. And then we got our papayas from Johnson Family Farms found in Opihikau. So I'm glad that we got to go and see their farm. It's a beautiful property and it was a great experience. I'm gonna start by adding our dragon fruit. So we're gonna add in our papaya. Now we have our olive oil, our lemon juice, cilantro, and green onion. For this, we're just using a rubber spatula, but we're not gonna stir this. We're gonna do a folding motion. It's gonna keep you from damaging the fruits. The fruit in here is gonna give you a nice sweetness. That lemon's gonna give you a nice acidity. And we're just gonna finish it off with a few pinches of salt. I'm just gonna fold the salt in real quick. The salt is just to taste, so make sure you don't add too much. So you can just try it and see if it's to your liking. And now we can set our relish to the side. Now the fun part. We're gonna get to sear our ahi. Here's a list of ingredients that you're gonna need. For the seared ahi, you will need a 4 ounce ahi tuna block, togarashi to taste, sea salt to taste, and oil to sear. I got some togarashi and some sea salt. Togarashi is traditionally a red Japanese pepper, but is most commonly used as an Asian spice blend. We're gonna season our ahi on all sides. And put the salt, then a little bit of the togarashi, and repeat on all sides. Putting my pan on a high heat. We're gonna add our oil in. We're gonna let that get hot. We're gonna sear this fish, which basically means the inside will still be raw, but the outside will have a nice brown crust. We wanna make sure that our oil is super hot just before smoking. It's gonna really help when you're searing the fish. We're 
putting the fish to one side of the pan because when you flip it, you want the, your other side of the pan over here to be nice and hot. We're just gonna let it go for maybe about 10 seconds. We're gonna flip it. You can see that our fish has that nice brown crust on the outside, but our middle is still raw. And remember, just a few seconds. As you notice, when I'm flipping the fish, I'm switching sides of the pan so that it'll just always be hot. No more than about 30 seconds all together, and then your fish is done. Let's go ahead and slice this up. Once your ahi is seared, don't forget about your relish and your aioli, and we're ready to plate. Simple seasonings on top of our seared ahi, but with the aioli and the fresh dragon fruit relish, it just makes the flavors pop. Thank you again to all of our farmers and vendors, and until next time, bye guys.